Okay, so we can certainly do this kind of matrix work using, um, actually, you could actually solve this without using matrices just by addition or, or substitution or some one of those methods you learned in Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 back in high school. Um, we can also do this with matrices. Uh, and if you watch the other video, you learned how to write the matrix equation. So I'll just kind of jump to that. Remember, we're writing the coefficients in its one matrix. And then we're going to write our variable matrix, our X matrix, as uh, I think it was David Lippin. I'm not quite sure. And then we're just going to make this equal to the constants. And there's our matrix equation. And I could write an awful crooked. I hope that's all right. And then I'm going to grab a graphing calculator. And I'm going to enter these matrices into my graphing calculator. Um, the way we access the matrix menu is we're going to do second matrix. And then we've got to edit these matrices. So I'm going to arrow over and enter. So I'm editing matrix A and matrices. matrix A is two rows and two columns. So two rows by two columns. And then I've just got to t enter in those, those, those integers, those numbers. Got to remember to hit enter each time to kick it over. Okay, so I believe I've got those in correctly. Negative six, negative six, negative two, negative nine. And then I'm going to quit this. So second quit. And then I'm going to do second matrix edit. But now I'm going to edit matrix number two, matrix B, because um, I don't want to re-edit A because that'll undo all my work. And this matrix matrix is two rows, one column. And I'm going to type in my, what is it, negative 288 and negative 369. All right, that's good. And now let's calculate and do all the heavy lifting. I'm going to quit. I'm going to go to the home screen. I'm going to access matrix A, so second matrix. And now I'm just going to type a one or hit enter since the one is selected. I don't want to edit it. I want, want it. And then to get the calculator to give us the matrix inverse, the inverse of the matrix, just hit the negative one. It's not, I know that's the reciprocal key, but in matrix algebra, that tells, that tells the calculator, the software, that you want to do the multiplicative inverse. And then we're going to multiply that by matrix A. So second matrix, I mean, sorry, matrix B, I, I misspoke. The, the constant matrix, and I hit enter, and there's the two answers, 39 and, or nine and nine and nine is X, and 39 is Y. Let's see if I can get this right. And I did. Okay, so that's the ordered pair where these two lines cross. A little easier, I think, than the algebra, though the algebra method for this isn't too bad. Okay, I hope this helps.